Hey guys, Tuckett here, and I thought it'd be interesting for today's video to really just focus on my Scourge experience in white maps, and then I'll do like another focus one on yellows, and another focus one on early reds, and then late reds. Haven't been playing all that much, I'm still quite ill, which won't surprise you with based on my appearance. Uh, but in terms of progression, we're like rounding up our first set of Conquerors, I'm getting ready to do a massive Gardens farm. Uh, basically, I'm going to have Gardens as my only tier 2 map. Um, and we just run a bunch of gardens until I get a bunch of porcupine sets. I probably want to farm two porcupine sets, um, and then I will progress as per normal. Um, after this last conqueror, I'm good to go. Uh, one thing you'll notice immediately, though, is frame drops. So uh, I cannot really talk about my experience with the league without talking about my experience with the frame drops this league. And performance, sadly, for me anyway, hasn't been that great. Uh, with every Path of Exile League, it always feels like you just kind of like roll the dice. Like, did we get a good performance league? Did we not get a good performance league? Did we get a good performance league that affected me or didn't affect me? So, uh, Expedition, for me anyway, was pretty solid in terms of performance. Um, I've been pretty lucky in terms of, like, the serve stability themselves. Um, I did have some pretty frustrating server issues... Uh, day one, um, my day one of the league was just lots and lots of crashing, um, which really kind of killed my drive to play. Um, but after that, I haven't had too many big server issues, except for loading screens. I've been having a lot of issues with just like random dying loading screens and my client just hard crashing. I don't mind it as much when it's tied to just like loading screens because it's not like I'm losing... Like, I'm halfway through a map, or I'm, like, halfway doing a certain league mechanic. That always really frustrates me. Obviously, having random portal crashes isn't fun. Um, but as far as Path of Exile crashes go, it's the least frustrating. I like how I have, like, a hierarchy of, like, the kind of crash that I don't think is that bad. And obviously, like, any crash is bad. Hey, nice spider maps. Um, but I just find that funny. As a Path of Exile player, I expect some level of crash. But anyway... So yeah, so the performance hasn't been that great. Uh, but what do I think of the league itself? Uh, I'm kind of in two minds about it. So I really like the gameplay. I think the gameplay is really good. From the point of view of my build's decent at the mechanic for white maps. Um, obviously the big issue, well, one of the glaring issues of the mechanic, and I even said this was going to be an issue for the league when it came out, was the way the debuff works. So the longer you spend um, killing Scourge monsters, the higher your little stacks go up and that's more and more damage taken and once you get to like 200% more damage taken well then everything kind of just one shots you uh, for the most part unless you're playing very specific builds with you know very extreme uh, layers of avoidance um, or just like very silly mitigation but more so avoidance when you kind of get to that level of uh, yikes damage incoming so I said that was going to be a problem and that kind of seems to be a problem GGG does have this, like, desire. That, like, this was a thing they spoke about with Expedition. It's something they spoke about with Legion, Ultimatum. Like, it's something they like. They like the idea of players having their limit and then stopping. Uh, for Hardcore, that's true. Yes, in Hardcore, very much so. You're going to be like, okay, we're at, like, 150 stacks. Yeah, probably shouldn't push it much further. Let's go. I just, I don't really think that's how the Softcore players play, especially from the point of view of you don't lose rewards like in something like heist you lose your reward if you die so you're more likely to be cautious whereas in this you lose xp if you die but it's not like oh no you've lost all your things from a softcore point of view so i think what's gonna most likely happen is people just going like high avoidance high movement speed and unless there's changes there they're just going to accept a couple of random deaths in tier 16s um which doesn't really seem like the sort of gameplay i would want to be promoting anyway People generally don't enjoy dying, uh, but people do enjoy going really fast. And I kind of feel like with the way they've set up the difficulty, you're kind of pushing people into this kind of like full avoidance, got to go fast, zero HP approach, which I don't think is particularly interesting. Um, but obviously, you know, they did it that way for a reason. Uh, curious to see if which way you guys lean with that. Like if you agree with me that you feel like that's the direction we're going to be pushed into. Or are you saying, actually, no, I'm building my characters tankier? Because that's the other way of looking at it. Like, um, I always build my characters with some level of... This is something about with performance. Like, what is this, right? Uh, with some level of hardcore mindset. Um, I played hardcore 
even though I've been playing softball for like two or three years, performance, two or three years now, I still play with a hardcore mindset because I played hardcore for like six years or something. Um, but sorry that <laughs> the the frame drops so frustrating because it like it completely kills my my game flow and game game feel is like one of the most important things in video games uh but it kills my game feel and it completely kills my train of thought which is kind of frustrating when you're trying to talk off the cuff so to speak uh, let's just call this pack and then we'll show off some gearing and stuff like that okay so this is on a five link yeah five link uh level 19 course to carry with uh pierce vicious pro swift to flick and Voivnip. I haven't gotten my Ubalab yet, which is more damage because I currently don't have Despair on. I'm only using Blasphemy Temp Chains. So it's actually quite a big DPS increase getting that. Because uh, Despair, I don't know if you're right, Despair is quite a big deal um, in the scheme of damage over time dot builds. Uh, I guess we could just run the thing. We might as well. Uh, let's get an Alk real quick. Uh, and then I'll talk over that. So, yeah, so as I was saying, the gameplay elements of the League, I actually really enjoy. Um, the reward elements of the League, now that's a slightly more interesting question. I think there was a big branding failure with this League. Um, I do think that the upside to downside ratio could be reevaluated. You can see, like, in terms of currency, I haven't got all that much currency, which is a very uh, reoccurring complaint. I don't mind feeling kind of currency. This is where I lose you, but like, I mean, let me just say my bet. I personally don't mind feeling a bit currency starved because there are so many league mechanics in Path of Exile that if I want to get currency, I can go do heist or I can go do some delving or I can go do whatever. I just haven't bothered with any of that stuff. Um, so, yeah. But saying that, you know, people like the rewards come from the league itself. So do I think the league mechanic is rewarding? Well, yes, but no. Um, so the scourged maps. Ooh, ooh. Now that's where stuff gets real spicy. Grimrose started making some videos on it. If you want to see it from the point of view of like actual like softcore juicing with someone who's not still in white maps after like 50 days. Um, oh, I think we got the boss. Yes, yeah, so this is a boss one. Okay, nice. Uh, let's try not to lose that. And also I need to remember to scout the map. Uh, also, just worth mentioning, if you notice random weird stuff in your maps, um, that means it is a boss. Uh, there's purple explosions, there's fiery boys, and there's lightning bolts. Uh, there might be a fourth one. Um, and you just kind of got to run around the map, try and find the boss, and then when you find the boss, stand on top of the boss. Uh, that's that. So, let's just uh, scout the map real quick. So yeah, most of the rewards seems to be tied into the mapping system um, when it comes to Scourge. Not so much the items. And when the League was marketed to us, it was very much marketed from the inverse. It's kind of like, like we even spoke about this on Bay Class. It was like, yeah, you can Scourge your maps, I guess. But like that didn't really seem like a big selling point of the League. It was like, oh, it's all about this crangled item, crangle, crangle, item, item. Corruption item crangle blah 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 and like no one was oh god this is black. Uh, and no one was really looking at it from the point of view oh, so frustrating and no one was really <sighs> no one was really looking at it from the point of view of the maps or at least most people weren't right um so the mapping aspect of it is really oh my god these frames the mapping aspect of it um is where a lot of the, oh. I'm getting annoyed, game. <laughs> the mapping aspect is where a lot of the juice is at. Ah, look, I'm just walking. I'm not even attacking. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm having fun. Um, so. <laughs> okay, I compose myself. So. Oh, frame drops, bro. So everything was kind of sold, in my mind, from the wrong point of view when it comes to that thing. If more focus had been put into funneling the crangled maps, like if I show you the one, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I meant to press on and show you the one I'm cooking. Uh, if I show you the one I'm cooking here, and can I just say for that, it takes a long time to scourge these up. Um, 
or at least it takes a long time to scourge these up in low tier content. Cannot seek for higher tier content yet. If you can see, this is like about to hit the sixth one. And um, we're getting the rare Scourge drop the basic currency, and they always drop two additional essences. And every time you upgrade it, you're more likely to upgrade the same thing. So the next upgrade will either give me two currencies or three essences per rare, which is sick. Um, and also, you can see that I rolled it onto a Beyond map. Like, I started using it on the Beyond map, which is just, like, off synergy. Um... But yeah, so from a crangling point of view, it's kind of awkward. And I said this would be the case with the League even launched. I'm like, yeah, from the point of view of like you're still playing week five of the League and your characters are kind of complete and you're now just looking for that like final, final min max point of view. Great League makes a lot of sense. This whole like crangling the items and it being super rippy um, in the sense of like, oh, challenging content, you can brick your gear. Oh, this is exciting. Did I brick the item? Did I not brick the item? Kind of makes sense. But from the point of view of I'm in a league start, uh, you have limited access to sort of like good enough items. Uh, if you've got like an entire stash full of good enough gear and you've got loads of like backups, then yeah, throw them into the Krangler. But most people don't have that. Like most people aren't sat on like 20 pairs of life tri-res rings they don't really care about. They can just kind of like throw into the ether. Um, if you have got that, excellent. But I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and assume that the people watching this don't. Um, so there's kind of this awkward little scenario right now. People kind of feeling like, well, what's the point? And hypothetically, even if I did have 20 spare rings, out of that 20, only five of them are going to come out decent because of the way that the weightings work on the upside to downside. Now, it is worth talking about that, you know, when it comes to downsides, a lot of the downsides are technically free. Like, from the point of view of my build, if I get something which is, like, cannot deal crits, well, I don't care because my build doesn't crit. Um, so, in that sense, you know, like, cannot deal crits, cannot deal fizz damage, cannot deal cold damage, cannot deal fire damage, cannot deal lightning damage. Like, you're like, oh, that's loads of free mods. But at the same time, you know, I could just hit cannot deal chaos damage and then suddenly my build just doesn't funk. Like, the fact that I can just try to make my build... I'm going to guess it's in that room in the middle there because I haven't cleared that room out. The fact that you can, like, have your build just straight up just not work and that's something that, for example, I could hit on a bow. It's like I finally get my six-link bow. I've, I've spent all this time crafting it, especially from an SSF point of view. And it's like, oh, did we get it? And then I can just get it straight up. My build no longer functions. Like, that's not much of a downside. That's just like a, your build just doesn't exist. Um, and I don't think that's very fun. I think, like, more interesting downsides would be stuff which is kind of like minus 50% movement speed. Which you're like, Taki, that's a, your build doesn't exist. It was like, well, actually, like, you could... Maybe down there. There are ways you could work around that. Like, there are some builds which might actually want to have negative movement speed for whatever reason. Because they're doing some wonky interaction. Or let's say you're like a Whirling Blades build. Um, or like a Lightning Warp. No, Lightning Warp skills it. But like, you're, you're a movement speed build. Or Leap Slam. You're a Leap Slam build or something which doesn't need it. So even though it's like quite a negative, you can kind of like, mm, maybe I can make this work for me. And I think that's a much more interesting way of doing a downside. And like... I think we would all agree that just straight up losing 50% movement speed is a pretty hefty... Please let the boss be in here. Where is the boss? Hmm. Hmm. I also wish that I could see the Scourge map while not in Scourge. Like the Scourge overlay. So there must be like somewhere that we skipped. Um, where have we not cleared? Haven't cleared down the top of that Cassia, and it looked like there and there were the two places. Okay, so let's run the Cassia, which will refill up my bar, and then hopefully the boss is... But that's like where the start... I mean, it could maybe be near the portal. Maybe? Question mark? Could maybe be near the portal? Question mark? Um, hmm. Yeah, so what was I talking about? I was talking about the whole like mapping thing. I was talking about the crangling aspect of it, where it kind of hits, where it doesn't hit. If I can just show up to save your build. It is also worth noting, just from like an, it's excellent from, well, I was going to say it's excellent from an XP point of view, but I guess if you're dying all the time, it's not excellent from an XP point of view, because if you're just dying, well, then you're not gaining XP. 
assuming you're not just dying, it's excellent from an XP point of view. And it's basically like turning every map into another map. Now, one of the downsides of turning every map into another map is it significantly slows down your atlas progression, like significantly, significantly, uh, which means that it significantly slows down your maven progression, um, which means you're going to be collecting like the big currency much, much slower because you'll generally get more just like vanilla currency from a... Please be down here. Where's the... Where is this boss? Bruh. Here? Okay, there's like a tiny section there. If it's not there, then I don't know. Like, I, I legit do not know. <sighs> Frustration. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm a fan of this boss mechanic. Um, of running around, look... See, we now don't have enough to, yeah, you know, yeah. So we we missed out on a boss that I I I looked pretty hard for. Um, that aspect of the league, not mad for. Um, but the bosses themselves are pretty cool. On that, I guess I should talk about boss rewards. Um, so I've done one boss already. This is the unique that dropped. It's um useless. <laughs> <laughs> useless uh so basically when you kill a boss um it drops a bunch of corrupted rares or scourge rares rather and a double scourged unique and uh, plus 181 decks so well, it doesn't affect me because i have enough decks that's the downside so that's a freebie um minus 26 fire res i mean i guess sure um not that bad um, and then the upside, like, what did we get for this? We got some flat cold, which if this was, like, a normal attack weapon, it's just a decent value. Um, and stun duration, which is kind of, like, eh, it's not very, it's not very exciting. Um, I do think it is kind of worth considering when you can have something, like, you know, adds 30 to 43 flat cold on a weapon, is that the equivalent of cannot deal cold damage? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I should also probably mention on that note, how do I feel about the dropped um, scourged items? We don't have the um, loot 2.0 system. So 90% of the rares that drop, drop bad. There is this like theoretical situation of kind of like you drop a random... Scourged rare, which hit like really sick modifiers on it, like really hits really good scourge mods on it, and then you could use like tainted chaos orbs to reroll the item, which could work and could maybe be interesting. But for that to be interesting, you'd have to be getting way more tainted currency dropping, which there currently isn't enough of. So I would probably rather there weren't any tainted items dropping, or the tainted items that did drop were. At like maybe like one or two a map um and they were like rolled lucky um because it's like I, i'll hover over them and every time i hover over them i'm like terrible 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 so then i just stopped even looking at them which isn't fun but i don't want to just filter them all out i don't know i'm very curious to see kind of what the way ggg approaches this league is because it's weird so i haven't i'm not a good example of it because i haven't collected um a bunch of tainted fusing orbs but this is like in a trade league, this is like the easiest league to ever get six links. And that in and of itself is quite a high reward. Like the fact that you're getting people like day one just casually running around with a bunch of like six link carcass jacks and stuff like that. Like it, there's a lot of reward, but the reward isn't tied into like the, the normal forms of reward. Like the way that most leagues reward you these days in Path of X is like, oh, look, oh, that's actually, that's pretty low. Oh, look, this thing dropped and it has like 30 chaos orbs and it's like oh cool cool league mechanic i guess which is kind of boring like this is a more interesting way of doing it but you can't really do that when you just kind of do the oh look 50 chaos orbs approach um it's just a bit of a disconnect there and oh, that's some like scourge point that's not what's to do boom and can i do the map yet so we can okay so let's 
for the sake of the video, I know this video is stretching on for a bit. Uh, let's now do the thingy. Um, so you can see we hit three additional essences. So every time we kill a rare, Shrub just drops three essences. Um, and we always get one stack of currency. So let's just kind of see if our point of view changes from running this thing. Uh, so this is a six scourge. I, I would have just kept cooking this up to 10, which is the max. Um, because essences are lit and currency is lit. Um, but sod it, I guess. Uh, and also, since we got that, we can now set up my atlas to do garden farm. Woohoo! Yahee! Uh, can I frag this? Let's have a look. Boom, 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 boom. I can. Cool. So this has got like some weird mods where like it also puts me into the thing. And I can only go into the thing when I'm full. Um, so AoE, only shift when reaching maximum blood. Lose blood on killing Scourge monster. And then 200% life. So let's, let's see how much of a mess this is, shall we? Frames. Next slide, please. G G G. Oh god. I think if the performance wasn't an issue, um, I'd be pretty chill with the league, to be honest. Like the for, again, I find it fun. Um, I find it interesting. I like the fact that we're having to think about this stuff. Um, thinking is generally an enjoyable experience for me, I find. Um would recommend thinking from time to time. Find it pretty interesting. I'm not finding that many rare monsters. Not that I look at it, actually. Oh, there's one. Hey, nice bunch of essences. Alright. Um, like, it's been a while since we've had a thinking league. Um, the fact that there's this whole kind of thing of like, okay, well, what's the best maps to cook? Do we want to focus on, like, layouts when it comes to these maps? Do we want to be looking for, like... Uh, I've heard some people talk about, like, actually counting how many rares you get in each map type. And then focusing on doing lead mechanic from that point of view. So that you're maximizing... Oh, God, these frames. Um, so you're maximizing the amount of rares, which I think is a really interesting way of, like, looking at the atlas. Because that's not really something you'd look at before. Usually it's just monster count, not specific, like, all rare monster count. Again, a bunch of... Essences, pretty good. Although, am, I, am I not meant to also be getting... Um, what was I going to say? Am I not also meant to be getting currency? Or is it just one or the other? Uh, let's do the Gwen. -in 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 -in. Frames, frames. Oh, frames. That was very inefficient. I just kind of wanted to do the thing. Can I not press the... Plunger or where is the Oh I'm stuck alright I can't because I only lose it when I kill enemy right okay. Forgot alright come come back I'm not sure if that's a fun system uh, but uh, I mean I guess it means we can get an easy full clip oh, God. frames Currency you're giving me today, sir. This world's gonna feel really good when we get the death safe, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Plunger. Ah, can we... It's like, is... are other people getting these frame drops? Did I just roll particularly unlucky on frames this league? Um. Hey, logbook. Nice. Complain and you shall receive. Ooh. Double logbook. Lit. Alright. Appreciate you. I like expedition. I think it's a very fun mechanic. Uh, oh, I can also scourge my backup quiver again. That'd be interesting. Let's see if we get anything of value. Oh, that's also one thing. So, uh, on the scourging an item multiple times, it is worth considering the fact that we were kind of marketed this idea of, well, you can scourge an item three times to see what you like. If you don't get what you like the first time, you can scourge it two more times. So you don't just like insta-break your item. Um, but obviously, 
when you're incentivized to only care about the tier 3 mods, um, well then, you kind of do just like insta-brick your item because you scourge it once and you get the tier 1 mods. No one cares about the tier 1 mods, so like, ugh, trash, right? Um, and then you scourge it again on the tier 2 mods and then trash. So like, theoretically, like, you can stick on tier 2 if you decide to stick on tier 2 and that's it. Like, that's your option. Or... You go to tier 3, and then your item's instantly locked. You can't modify it anymore. So I think maybe being able to modify an item four times um, would be the play. I think I think we should be able to get our item to a tier 3, and then make at least one more decision on if we keep it or not. I think that's only fair. Um, also, I realized like, I haven't been picking up all the essences. So I'm going to have to run back through the whole map to pick up the essences. Um, hmm. So, it's also worth considering, so this is my first tainted map of the league that I'm running. And I started cooking this straight away. Like, I immediately started cooking this at 83. Um, and I got to the, you know, Atlas maybe slightly over-leveled, maybe 70... Two, maybe 75 at the utmost push. You know, if we're being um, super conservative. So, I think they could probably speed up the rate at which, at least in low-tier content. Especially since that seems like where most of the fun is to be had with the mechanic. Oh, these frames. Um, I think they should definitely speed that up. Let me shift back into the thingy. Essences are nice, though. Like, they're dropping of a decent tier, also. I feel like I should also be getting currency. Wasn't it currency and essence? I feel like I'm not getting my basic currency. That's just being filtered out. I don't think it is. It's not some more as. Oh, that was okay. There was another rare down there. But, like in terms of like maps on maps on maps, I feel like I've run like three maps. <laughs> the beyond as well. It's just like uh, we're gonna shift over. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this like four shift one though. And I guess it makes it easy just to go exploring. But yeah, I feel like I've ran like fifteen maps. <laughs> And we've done, what, three in this video? Um, so that's an interesting experience. Right, what was that last rise down here somewhere? There you go. That was one. I think there was a second one as well, though. There we go. We got the basic currency that time. Uh, I want... <sighs> Frames. I feel like I saw another one around here. I feel like I hit one just as the uh, last one ended. Maybe not. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is something you need to evaluate as well. Because it's like, while well, you might be getting like sick um, essences, <laughs> which again, for trade leaders, for SSF, it's nice. Like you might be getting a, a sick amount of essences back. But if you're having to like, if the time to get those, you know, 10 essences or well, quite a bit more, but like, 20 essences. Um, if, like, the time to get that. Right, okay, that's going to be tedious. Right, so the force one should probably not have the thing on it. But because now we're going to get forced back into it, right? When I kill this rare. Yeah, and then we need to wait. And then we'll teleport back. Yeah, that's. that's and now when we clear the next pack of mobs. Yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. So not a fan. Yeah, not <laughs> not a fan of that mod. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh. Oh, I can see. I can see a slight problem here. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, not yeah. Yeah, I think they should change that. <laughs> so you gotta wait as well. There's a little timer. Ooh, chaos up. Nice. Okay, we're nearly out. Thank God. Boom, boom, boom. Veiled Chaos Orb. Hey, I was talking about that. Oh, that's the the other new type of chaos. There's too many currencies in this game. Okay, well, we're free now, anyway. So, we got uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, exactly 20 essences. It's like, that was pretty good. So, like, if you went that... If you didn't have that annoying force shifting, so we could clear the map faster, and you're on, like, a faster build, and, like, you'd... Because we could have run that like four more times, like four more upgrades. So that could have theoretically been like another four essences additionally dropping on each one or like more currency or more whatever. Like that's pretty cool. Um I feel like it's I feel like it's close. Like I feel like the league is nearly there. Um but it's just got like my my main thing is the performance and like stuff like the, the mastery is not working. Like if I'm wasting four skill points, like that sucks. And I can't spec out of it because I'm in SSF. And regrets don't drop because there aren't much currency drops this league. But uh, I think this I think this has real potential. I think depending on how GGG changes things. So if GGG's approach is just like currency drops, then I'm going to be pissed. Because um, I think that's the wrong way to look at this league. I think the best way to look at this league in terms of like improving the reward is really putting more focus on the Scourge mapping system. Uh, improving some of the quality of life for some of the annoying Scourge mods. But having it so that you're incentivized to run scourge maps, like running scourge maps fast to make it a more fluid process. Once you get like all the unlocks from your um, crucible, so you can get like, I think when you kill the bosses, you get like a third slot. Maybe if you get a third map slot as well, so you can have like three maps cooking at once. And you're like, you're chaining big tier 16s. Well, then if you're in a situation where, like you can nearly sustain... Um, like juiced up scourge maps, I can see that feeling really great. But again, it's like it's too backloaded. As I said, going into this league, because like so much of this league is just too backloaded and there's not enough like front loaded initial incentive aside from like the easy six links. Maybe that was their thought process. Like, look, here's a six link, come back in 20 levels. But how fun is that for the average player? Anyway, I'm Taki. Have a good day. Let me know what you think of the build, by the way, and the league and all this other stuff. And also, if I could respect those nodes. I'm going to add on this little section here to get Enfeeble. Uh, so I'll have Bane, Despair, Enfeeble, Blasphemy, Temp, and I will also pick up Influence, which will be a nice little DPS increase when I get Death Soth. But anyway, I'm Taki. Have a great day. Bye-bye.